Okay, so for this project, you will be needing a 100 watt LED chip. This thing takes in 36 volts and out comes a, a hell of a lot of heat and a ton of light. Um, you're also going to need a heat sink. Um, I think mine's a little bit overkill, but that's only because I'll be putting two of them on later. Uh, you're going to need a fan, of course. Any computer fan will generally do for this purpose. Um, next thing you're going to need is a power source. So, for that I'll be using these things and I'll just be putting some cells from some old laptop batteries in them. Each one of these is generally 4.2 so I'll probably need at least 8 of them or so. I don't know, maybe a DC to DC converter, who knows. Yeah, I'm just going to pause it right here. I'm sorry if the video seems a little disjointed. It was filmed over a couple months. Um, mistakes were made. Please do get a DC to DC converter. And please do mount it on a block of wood. Because that's what I ended up doing anyways. Um, next thing you're going to need is a box to mount all this stuff in. The first step in this project was to mount the heatsink onto a piece of wood. To do this, I used self-tapping sheet metal screws. Generally not intended for this purpose, they actually work surprisingly well. Unfortunately, I lost the footage of me wiring up the battery pack. Although I can say that I wired it up in such a way that there would be two cells in parallel, four in series. So for a total of eight cells, they would deliver 16.8 volts. Now we drill out a hole for the switch. Yep, it's feasible.
this stage we wire in the fan. It will be connected to the input of the DC converter because the input receives 12 to 16 volts and it is a 12 volt fan. So I take the red wire and connect it to the negative input on the DC to DC converter. The red wire being the middle input of the switch. So at the moment the wiring is kind of a mess. Here's a schematic to help you understand the wiring. We have two inputs for power. 12 volt input and a battery input. The positives are wired directly together into the boost converter, whereas the negatives enter a switch. The switch allows me to decide between the input sources or to have the device off. If it works, 